Hi everyone, I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and Business and Personal Success Strategist at TotalGenius.net, where I help you discover your genius, which is the combination of your expertise and life experience, and build it into a profit-generating business based on your purpose. So today, it's a very apropos subject, I wanted to talk about how to communicate your value in your marketing so that you attract your ideal clients. I think if there is one thing that you need to fully understand in order to understand your marketing is how to communicate your value. And so how I want to really start this out is by identifying and defining what your value is. So I think that this term, you know, you, uh, you know what, what makes you valuable, what, what do you value, there's so many different interpretations of what your value is that I don't think that people have actually identified it and put words to it. And then I don't know if you have actually taken it and decided what that value is. Hey Val. So, you know, this is very important because it's, it's not only in understanding what your value is, how you price your products and services. It determines what you sell and it determines surprisingly, how confident or not confident you are when you speak. So I'm going to cover all of those things today, but first I want to start with what is your value? Because if you don't understand it, you're never going to be able to communicate it. So your value is actually made up of a couple of different things. Number one, what are your values? Like what are your, uh, what, what guidelines and, and uh, different principles were you raised on? Like my dad was, uh, you know, was a college professor. He had high integrity and uh, he was a workaholic. And so written on our wall at home was, we try harder. <laughs> like literally, I was raised to just try harder, just keep trying and trying and trying, which is why I'm so hard headed today. So what are your personal values? You know, you have to look back at your childhood and, and think, uh, how were you raised? What, what principles did your parents raise you on? And what principles do you operate on in your own life? So uh, one, of the, one of my guiding principles is do or do not. There is no try. You know, I follow Yoda. <laughs> and so uh, that is something that carries on in my mind. It's how I operate in my life. Um, I don't try to do things. I, I decide I'm going to do them or, or I don't do them. And that's how I operate my business. And so, you know, those are my values. What are your values? Then what is valuable about you? So those are actually two separate things. What's valuable about you is made up not only of uh, what you think is valuable about you, but what do other people think is valuable about you? While we shouldn't really care what other people think, it's just a human biological fact that back in the caveman days, we had to be accepted by our tribe or we'd get uh, thrown out to the wolves or I guess tigers back then. So, you know, what do you, what do you first define, what do you find valuable about yourself? I I'm what makes me valuable. I have high integrity. Um, I have very innovative ideas. I, I am a very creative thinker and I think in a very strategic way. In fact, when I try not to be strategic and just, you know, think <laughs> I can't, I, I, I piece things together and I didn't really define that in myself, but people that would, um, that I would help and, uh, and talk to would always tell me, you have this one thing. I, I, I can't really define what it is, but you just know how to put things together so well, you know, from like clothing into style to like, um, how I helped someone with their business before I started my business. And she was like, I can't explain it, but you just, and I was, it was driving me insane until I actually identified what it was. It's just my, the way I think my innovate, my innovative mind and, um, my strategic uh, vision. When I use those things together, um, I'm, I'm just really good at what I do. And now that I can identify it, I can point it to 
uh, like I'm a business strategist, so I can point it to people's businesses and just pull out all these um, things. And so what, what is valuable about you? So you can maybe like uh, uh, limit it to three to five qualities. Or if you want, like make a list of 10. Create a page of what is valuable about you and then another page about what other people find valuable about you. I, I really want you to, to separate those two things because you'll start to see a common thread. And I don't want you to just base it on what other people think about you because it's not about what other people think about you. But it's just that other people can see your genius. They, other people can appreciate our value more than we appreciate our own. I know that's really hard to, uh, to think, but um, other people really um, are able to, to not judge us the way that we judge ourselves. And especially if you're a high achiever, um, and, I, and I know for me and an overthinker, you have a tendency to, to judge yourself um, on a high, a high standard. And so you don't appreciate all those little things. The little things that, you know, because you look in the mirror every day, you've been living inside your body for however long you've been alive, and those things just seem normal. You know, I have an eyebrow, I have, you know, lips, and you don't actually know um, what's really special about you. So don't go and ask people. I just want you to base this on what you think other people think. Because I did a whole video on asking the people what they think of you because um, that causes a whole nother reaction. We don't want that. We just want what your thinking brain is. And, in fact, um, uh, I'm going to send my list a link to, um, to take the fascination test. Because I think that, uh, you know, and, and those of you that have done it, that did it in Master Your Money Code, that identifies what people think of you, and it's so right on. It's kind of uh, amazing. Okay, so, so that's what your value is. It's what you value. It's what's valuable about you. So once you identify it, now we need to break it down into business terms. So I'd like to say, you know, the difference between what is saleable, like what you price things for, what people actually would pay for, and what is marketable, you know, um, those two things in actuality are two totally different things. If you've ever uh, been in business for a, if, you have, if you've been in business for a while, you've, you may have heard the term or the phrase: um, uh, sell them what they want and then give them what they need. So we can break this down into hard skills and soft skills. Hard skills are what you do. You know, uh, I'm a business strategist because I have 28 years of business and marketing experience. Uh, you may be a health coach because you went to uh, nutrition school. Um, you know, you may be intuitive, so you're just naturally intuitive and you built that into your business. Whatever it is that you do is your saleable skill. That's something that other people are Googling and saying, you know, uh, somebody tell me, you know, or if you're like a life coach, somebody, you know, help me lose weight, um, help me build my business, uh, how can I do this? All those things that people are searching on Google, that's, your, that's a saleable skill. Those are like the hard things, uh, the hard skills that, that you have. Then there's what I like to call your marketable skills, which are really the soft skills, which are really what your values are. So your marketable skills, so sell them what they want, give them what they need. So your, your, what you're selling is the, you know, their, your hard skills, uh, what they really need. And what people are really looking for, although that's not what they're Googling, is the emotional connection. They're looking for, um, they, they buy an external solution, but they're looking for an internal solution. You know, the struggling of their mind. You know, how to get confident, how to, how to feel good at, at be, with being the person that I am. Um, you know, all those things that your values, what, what make you valuable, solve. Because in actuality, people don't just buy what you sell. Otherwise, if you just sell something, which is fine. I always say there's two types of businesses. There's those that just have a business and there's those that are based on you. So if you have a personal brand, then you have a business that's based on you. 
So the only thing that differentiates you from the next person that sells what you sell is not only what you sell, but it's who you are. So the reason why you're listening to me is that uh, I may deliver information in a different way that helps you understand it than somebody else who's a business coach. And just like me and just how you're, like, like how you're listening to me, uh, there's you do the same thing for other people. And when you can identify that value inside of you and those marketable skills, those are the things that you need to infuse in your marketing. So, you know, another, um, if another business person were to teach this exact same subject, like let's say you just took the title of, of this live video and you had somebody else who was a business strategist be teaching it, they probably wouldn't be teaching you um, the things that I'm teaching because I happen to see the world in a different way. And that's why you're listening to me over them. So the more that you can infuse these marketable skills, your soft skills, your values into your marketing and into what you sell, the more, number one, appealing it's going to be to people so that they buy it. So then they're not only buying just what you sell or what, you know, the hard skills, but they're buying the internal solution and the better that um, you'll be able to translate it in your marketing. So there's something that happens when, uh, when people try to just teach like the hard skill or you try to just market the hard skill. You run into an internal block in your brain because it's, it's only one part of you. And that internal block is what the, the overthinking um, that happens. That internal block is because you're only, um, you're only doing that one thing that could be like something you learned or something that, and inside your head, it's incongruent with who you actually are. And the problem with that is that, you know, this is why people say they struggle with um, their marketing. They struggle with speaking out loud. They struggle with speaking out loud and they struggle with their marketing because um, you're incongruent. You're only trying to use this one part and uh, you may want to say other things. You may have like a strong belief about something. And if it's not built into your business, uh, it's just like a block because you, you, you're, it's like putting a claw, um, do you put a clog? I don't know. It's like having a clog in your head and only, you're only let, letting a little bit seep out. And that clog is like clogging everything else. So it's like not a workable system. So this is really important to um, not only having a business that you love, but having a business that is set up correctly so it flows. So that you're able to, to use all of you and not have to hide it. So, you know, I just posted something in my group um, a second ago about how, uh, you know, we're as humans, I'm not saying you, but just as humans, we care what other people think. And that's really the reason what holds most people back is that they're afraid to say, speak, do anything uh, because you're afraid that of what other people think. They'll judge you. They'll hate you. They'll, you know, I, had, I hate a hate um, post <laughs> under one of my posts recently. And yeah, it, it's like, it's not, it's not pleasant. And uh, I can see why people want to avoid that. But as I've said in previous videos, if you're going to attract your ideal clients, like really attract them and uh, get over that, that whole hump of like them understanding you and relating to you, you're going to have to understand that it's a two-way street. In order to attract new in, you're going to have to detract the old out. And those people, you know, they wouldn't have liked you anyway is how you really should look at it. And so when you can fully understand your values and infuse it into your business, you remove the clog. And then you're able to um, 
to understand how to market yourself and if you can infuse that. So, you know, I, I talk to many or many of my clients are like, you're, you're multi-passionate. So, you know, you like um, writing, you like doing all these things, yet, you know, you're, you, you teach health. And then you have your life, you know, you overcome major life challenges. You have this, these different things about your personality. Those things need to be built into what you sell so that when you, when you go and you price it, you understand the value in it. So, I, you know, I have people say, raise your prices, do all these things. That's not just an external thing that you go, okay, today I'm going to charge this. It actually has to be an internal buy-in. And if you can put inside your, your program the things that you teach, uh, the lessons that you've learned in your life, like the hard-fought lessons, because that's really what's valuable about you, when you can infuse that into your business, you'll start to see the value because you fought hard to learn that lesson. And now you're going to teach it to others. And that is invaluable. And so when you go and you price that and you realize, you know, how much time that you're spending uh, working with your clients and all of that, that's you buying into the fact that you are valuable. And that's congruency so that when you are fully congruent, honestly, you don't care what other people think. When you are so aligned with the person that you are, that means that Alignment is not, you know, like the straight line. <laughs> Alignment means that you accept yourself. That you actually uh, value everything about you. And you admit it to yourself. So I don't know if any of you have heard of Psyche. Or let's just say, let's say uh, Bruce Lipton. He wrote a book called The Biology of Belief. He's a scientist. And it's a very widely read um, book and, and this is actually a, a scientifically backed principle and you know what he went to go show is that uh, your mind like the thoughts that in your mind can I, we can actually change our genetics by, by thinking and at the same time we're actually changing our genetics by thinking those are like the subconscious thoughts and all of that so I'm just going to it's a very deep concept, so I'm just going to do what applies to you right now. But that uh, if, you know, if you are trying to go, I'm confident, I'm confident, I'm doing it, you know, I have affirmations that are written on the wall, and you don't actually believe it. I'm valuable, I'm valuable. And you don't know what's valuable, and you don't actually believe it. You're, you're, you're going to be incongruent, and that clog is still going to be there. And then, you know, that's what happens when people can't understand how to raise their prices or, you know, what's valuable about, about you, how to speak it, you know, how to be confident in, in what you do. It's actually, um, if, you, if you really want to dumb it down to just this basic statement, is that it's, it's because you haven't um, accepted yourself. It's, it's the lack of understanding and belief in your own self. And so I'm going to solve that right now and uh, give you some strategies that you can start doing right away to, so that you, know, you can do this like before you do a video or do, before you do anything. And it takes practice. But the first step is understanding your values. So if you miss the first part, you have to go do that first. Then... Um, before you get online, you know, do whatever it is that you need to be confident for. Before you um, look at your business, uh, if you want to go and like build in the strategies around it and build in your marketing, you need to uh, believe in yourself. And so, um, you know, the the why I mentioned psyche, it's like muscle testing. It's like uh, solidifying your belief in yourself. But if when you can appreciate the different things about you, like I just named in the first part, you know, your, um, your flaws. You can look back at the lessons you've learned. You can look back at what, what you appreciate about yourself, 
what other people appreciate about you, uh, your own personal values. When you can say, just repeat those things to yourself, you know, I know that I, I do this, you know, this is me, this is me. So, you know, I teach, I teach people to do this, um, what I call active focus meditation. Within an hour of waking up, you move your body quickly so you produce endorphins and then do it then. Really come clear and aligned with who you are before you do anything. When you do that, then you can approach your business and say, who am I and how do I want to communicate who I am in my business? How do I want to communicate who I am in my marketing? You know, what does this have to do with the marketable and saleable skills? How do I uh, communicate those marketable skills uh, underneath what the saleable things are so that the pe- my ideal clients will see the true value in it? So remember, you know, people are looking for an external solution, but they're, they're actually looking for an internal solution. So lead with the hard skills, you know, what you do, what they're Googling, and then infuse in your copy, in your marketing, in what you speak. Um, all of that just infuse you. What makes you come alive? What, what are you passionate about? You know, I don't teach about dogs, but I, you know, I happen to, uh, to love dogs. And I happen to use them in like my images and things. Um, I don't teach health. But I, infu- I just taught you about active focus meditation. I speak about it often. I you know, use photos of like healthy food. I talk about like holistic and detox. Because those things make me come alive. And the fact that I can speak that out loud because I'm aligned. And, and those things may not be what I sell. But I'm teaching. See, I just taught you active focus meditation. I teach that in the back side because that's what makes me different and what my client, what changes the way my clients think about themselves so that they can do the things necessary to produce a successful business. You have those things about you too. And when you can accept them, notice them, and then work them into your business, then your business is valuable. And then you teach what's valuable. And then the people that value that are attracted to you. And that's how you attract clients who value you. You know, it's, it's not like some um, you know, sales funnel or something like that. It, it may be part of a sales funnel, but I like to call it you know, your emotional or feelings funnel. Uh, it's just you know, a change in perception the, about the way you look at it. So you know, I see a lot of people falling... Uh, spending a lot of money on different programs and courses and different things like that that teach the hard skills. And you, maybe you need to know that. I mean, you, you do to a certain extent, but that's not all you need to know. And if that's what you're basing your business on, it, it, that clog is still there. So we want to uncork it. And the quickest way to do that is just to become congruent and accept yourself for who you are and work that into your business so you can get paid for who you are. To me, that's what personal branding is all about. It's about appreciating who you are, positioning yourself as the only one that does what you do because you are the only one that does what you do. And um, the faster you can realize it, the faster you can become confident and charge what you're worth. So I hope that that's helped you really understand what what um, is how you attract people that value you and they want to learn from you and then they want to buy from you. And I'm going to be teaching a whole system on it um, in my uh, position to sell uh, free training on the 11th, as well as if you want to take the seven day challenge to really infuse and understand that internal positioning, you know, your values and all of that. um, You can join at any time. It's actually ongoing. And also, um, you know, this is about understanding positioning. And so rather than like trying to do what everyone else is teaching, you know, try to be visible, try to do these things, 
understand your positioning first and you you won't have to understand all those other things because those things are just natural and inherent. They're just a part of like the tactics that you do. And you can do them effectively and get results when you start with the root, which is you. Okay? So if you want to sign up for that, that's at um, positioned.totalgenius.net. You can come join me and um, some other geniuses at the Genius Collective on Facebook. And I'll see you guys soon. Have a great night and make that list of your values. If you missed it, please go back. And if, if all you listen to is that first part uh, about the list about your values and your, what's valuable about you, do that because um, that's just the most important thing in, in business and life. Okay? I'll talk to you later. Bye.